Well, you know it's coming. Good Friday to you. Thank you for being here and being a part of the show. This 18th day long, there's a lot of ground to cover tonight before we leave you for what is absolutely going to be a very well-deserved and very beautiful weekend and a very nice forecast for football tonight, Community Day tomorrow in McGoffin County, and, of course, the eclipse on Monday, and a beautiful Sunday in between all of that. We'll have more on your weather forecast in just a few moments and more on the eclipse. We'll just go over real briefly. I know that there's so much concern over it. So many solar eclipse glasses. So just a few tips from the American Astronomical Society that I'll share with you tonight. We'll have coverage of hot off the press, literally. Big Sandy Idol kicked off its season at the McGough County High School earlier today. I'll take you to there. A small clip of all the contestants and some of the Big Sandy singers as well. Another bear sighting to share with you. Several people sentenced in McGoffin County Court yesterday. One man from McGoffin sentenced to 12 years for charges that he was found guilty of. Others to five years. We'll have those reports. And a quick update on coverage of the Paintsville City Council meeting from earlier in the week in which they discussed their selling alcohol on Sundays. There was a resignation effective immediately on behalf of one of the councilmen. And some other items discussed. In case you're wondering, well... It will be nice. It will be nice just to win one of the smaller prizes worth $50,000 or more. But tomorrow's jackpot for the Powerball is now a half billion dollars and then some at last report at $535 million might go up a million or two uh, before the actual drawing is held. And that, of course, will be tomorrow night. Uh, someone has already been, oh, been deemed a winner. And they did so by becoming the second winner in Kentucky to win the Lucky for Life game. That's $1,000 a day for life, and that's at least 20 years. Even if you were to pass away suddenly or something of that nature, it goes on to your estate for at least 20 years. Uh, so it is worth millions of dollars, to say the least. And this ticket was sold uh, in Garrison. That is um, near Ashland, I am told. That is super quick there. Don't know who's got the ticket yet, but, man, what a ticket to have. Several people were sentenced yesterday in McGoffin County Court uh, for cases that, of course, originated here in McGoffin County. One was a traffic stop on the Mountain Parkway, actually on Parkway Drive, that took place earlier this year where three people were charged and sentenced yesterday, as well as another case of burglary that took place actually just a few hundred feet from that very site where a man broke into a Sagersville business during the overnight hours. A very intoxicated man left behind a lot of damage and stole some weapons and other items. He was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison yesterday. This was the scene as I was there in the early morning hours of February the 9th of this year when an alarm summoned local authorities who found someone still inside the Parkway Gun and Pawn business here in Sagersville. A man believed to be very high under the influence of drugs had ridden his bicycle to behind the building, crawled in that tiny Eve attic vent, if you will, and then made his way inside where he was there for quite some time with the alarm inside blaring at 120 decibels or so. He, after trying to break the glass with his hands, picked up a shotgun or a rifle and then busted the glass out and then started stealing what was, I believe, seven handguns in all. Surveillance video inside the store captured him making his way around in the dark trying to get his way back out. He ultimately tried to get back up into the attic and go out the same way he came. That was after he tried to use a golf club and anything else he could get his hands on to try to get out the front door, but he was locked inside. Authorities found him still inside the attic space upon their arrival and were able to get him down without themselves being injured. He was indicted by a McGoffa County grand jury on a charge of burglary in the first degree, criminal mischief in the first, resisting arrest, and being a persistent felony offender, that PFO charge, enhancing the charges and the sentencing to which he received yesterday in McGoffin County Circuit Court. 39-year-old Jason Benton of Sagersville was sentenced to 12 years in jail on count one while counts two, three, and four were dismissed, count one being the burglary in the first degree charge. He is, has been lodged in the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center since his indictment, I believe, and we believe will spend most, if not all, of his several years at that facility. 
The next case stemmed from this traffic stop on Parkway Drive in the McGoffin County Plaza on the 11th day of this past April. The McGoffin County Sheriff's Department making the traffic stop, finding cocaine, methamphetamine, prescription pills, concealed we deadly weapons, and other items after three, vehicle, three people were in the vehicle. All indicted on either 11 or 12 counts each, including complicity to traffic in cocaine and traffic in methamphetamine and narcotics, scheduled narcotics, being in possession of drug paraphernalia, one uh, for a concealed deadly weapon, the driver for DUI, and the list goes on. Ultimately, all three were in court yesterday and have now officially been sentenced to at least five years each. 37-year-old Carlos Dobson of Hazard was sentenced to five years on counts one, two, and three, those counts being the complicity to traffic in meth and prescription drugs and methamphetamine. Counts four through 12 were dismissed. While he was sentenced to five years on each of the three counts, they are to run concurrently, meaning he will serve up to five years in prison on the charges. While the other two... 36-year-old Shannon Price of Painesville and 45-year-old Candy Price of Nippa, there was some relation. It might have been aunt and nephew or cousins or something of that nature. Nevertheless, they were each sentenced to five years as well. Shannon Price sentenced to five years on counts one, two, and three as well, but all to run concurrently with the dismissal of the other charges against him. And the same for Candy Price, who was sentenced to five years on counts three and twelve. A lot of headlines to cover. We're going to do things a bit out of sort tonight and quickly go to your community calendar brought to you by McGoffin Farm Bureau. A brief calendar tonight, but one that does start off with, yep, you guessed it, a few birthday wishes. Yeah, so where or where to begin? Well, let's begin with Austin Combs. A happy big birthday wish to Austin Combs from Jackie Minix and a long list of family and friends. Happy, happy birthday to Austin Combs. And I got a list here, ladies and gentlemen. I have a happy 8th birthday wish tonight to this smiling face. Happy 8th birthday to Emma Brielle Howard. Now, her birthday is not until tomorrow, but I'm not going to be here tomorrow. So an early birthday wish going out to Emma Brielle. I love Mommy, Dustin, Mamaws, Papaws, a whole big long list of a whole big long lot of family and friends. Happy, happy birthday to you. And to Nikki Turner from Anthony, all your family, all your friends, all kids, everybody, you know who they are, who love you the most. Happy birthday to you, Nikki. Coming to a location near you, there's going to be a traveling County Extension Council meeting this coming Monday. <clears throat> My apologies. At 6 o'clock, that's at the old elementary, the old Salyer Elementary School building, uh, the Koinonia Center of the Licking River Baptist Church. And they'll also be having a presentation about the Royalton Trail Town Project, and Pastor Richard Green will be talking about some other activities that they have going on. <clears throat> that's Monday at 6. They hope that you'll join them. And there's been a cancellation uh, schedule change for the Water into Wine Food Pantry. They're having one day next week. Their senior day for Tuesday has been changed, and they've lengthened Wednesday's food distribution. So from 8.30 till 3, with an hour for lunch there in the middle from 11.30 to 12.30. They'll be distributing food, boxes, or however they can get it out there to you from Water into Wine over at, of course, the Lakefront Church of God on Route 30. That's Wednesday of next week, 8 until 3 o'clock. If you've got a birthday or an announcement and you want it heard in this program, it simply takes you telling me so I can tell everyone about it. And that's it. And lastly, one other reminder for you this evening. Services to be held in honor of 65-year-old Mark W. Gibson of West Liberty. He passed away on the 16th, married to Anna Faith Fletcher Gibson, who survives. He's also survived by sons Mark Clay Gibson and Elliot Gibson and daughters Anna Marie Davis, Goldie Lynn, and Cinderella Gibson. There's going to be a visitation in his honor at the Magoffa County Funeral Home tomorrow from 10 until 4. I am told that a memorial service will be held at a later date in his honor. To get high-speed internet on their state-of-the-art fiber optic network for all of your home and business solutions, or to watch TV without a contract on over 200 digital channels with superb quality, or stay connected with family and friends with 24-7 telephone service you can always depend on, contact Foothills Broadband today. 
or just click on their link to the right to find out how they're working to provide the latest in communications at affordable prices with exceptional service at Foothills Broadband. Curb your appetite for a good deal and some home cooking at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe, where we started the under five buck daily special. Saturdays get a 10 piece hot and spicy wing dinner with all the fixings, only $4.69, $3.99 after four o'clock. And on Sundays, our famous chicken and dumpling special with homemade cobbler and ice cream, only $4.49, $3.99 after four. And we cater gatherings big or small at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe. Yes, that's a 68 with an awesome 302, an updated five speed, over $6,000 in just recent restoration receipts, all with only about 70,000 miles. It's only at Broadway Auto Sales in Paintsville. And this 07 Expedition Eddie Bauer, and this 2011 Nissan Altima, and this super sporty 07 Colorado are all drastically cut to sell quick. Come check them out at Broadway Auto Sales in Paintsville. Much more than diesel specialist, Black Smoke Performance is turning out excellent auto body collision paint and repair results with free quotes and estimates on everything from insurance jobs to that ding you got in the driveway. Custom lift kits, bed liners, winches and accessories and full diagnostics and repair on anything gas or diesel from brakes to fluid changes to major auto repair. If you want it fixed, lifted, painted, customized or just maintained, just call on the team at Black Smoke Performance in Dixie of Sagersville, 100 May Drive or 349-8785. Yes, Logan makes the best truck bodies on the market, and they also have a fully stocked warehouse of dump body parts, PTOs, hydraulic pumps, hoists, anything you need to get back on the road. And they are a full-service steel and aluminum service center. They keep I-beam, channel, angle, pipe, round rod, rebar, expanded metal, sheet metal, and aluminum all in stock. And if you've got a big project, they do commercial manufacturing to your specs. Logan since 1904. The weather is going to be great and so is all of the food, fun, games, prizes and entertainment this Saturday at the 14th annual McGoffin County Community Day where we've got Rhonda, Vincent and The Rage and all these other great shows and that $10 ticket to get you in also gets you a chance to win a car. Kids 12 and under, they get in free. So bring your lawn chair and bring the family to Community Day this Saturday in the Ramey Park. Let's put a little entertainment into the mix here in the middle of the broadcast tonight as Big Sandy Idol, as it has for the past few seasons, officially kicked off their season, which runs for the next several months here at the McGoffin County High School. And I am told that they look forward to starting their season here as we tend to set the bar for the rest of their year. It's ready to kick off Big Sandy Idol 2017. Do you guys set the bar? You always have such a great crowd and you just cheer so well. Oh yeah, uh, McGoffin County, the audience is just always, their energy is amazing. They're, they're louder than any other school. They're just, they're so energetic and they're so into it and they're so supportive of their kids, which is the most important thing. has come so far in just the past year. We have a new program going on with the singers now. If they get the scholarship to be a Big Sandy singer, that they will get a vocal class in addition to their scholarship with the college. And all of that is because of Idol. And we see so many kids and every year the attendance for the Idol participation is more and more. And you know, at the Mountain Arts Center each year at regionals, there's more people. It was sold out show last year on Saturday night of uh, regional Idol, so it's just been an amazing year. Idol will be at every school from McGoffin all the way through Pike Counties uh, every Friday from now until December when we let out of school. So if you ever want to see any other Idol, just check with us and it'll be any Friday, like I said, until December. And then Regional Idol will be March 9th and 10th of 2018. And we look forward to seeing everybody there. And if you do go, 
I mean, when you do go, two people you will see perform for the grand prize and title will be two performers chosen from the 12 who sang before the school and Big Sandy Idol earlier today. And I know dark clouds will gather me And I know these fields of darkness deep And the beautiful fields, the light just beyond me And I know my ways are rough and steep I'm going there to see my mother and I'm going there, no more to I told her way up yonder past the caution lights at the little country store with an old Coke sign. He got to stop and ask Miss Bell for some of her sweet tea. And a lift will take you to the interstate, but a ride will bring you right back here. Today, who will go on to 
compete at the regional level at the Mountain Art Center in March of 2018. And your runner-up for Big Sandy Idol 2017 is Isaac Perkins. Congratulations. to the Mountain Art Center to compete for a scholarship to Big Sandy Community and Technical College, a full paid scholarship and demo recording at the Mountain Art Center, and many, many more prizes. Drum roll, please. And your winner is John Ward. And I caught up with our two seniors right after the show, with most of us being familiar with their voices somewhere or the other. Uh, I started singing in church uh, about the time I was five to about now. I uh, still sing in church. Uh, sung here, started singing here, and I was just, I don't know, I'm thinking about pursuing it. I was excited. The adrenaline you get from it and everything, it's just great. It's just great. John? I actually started singing with them, actually, when I was like six. Uh, they had a uh, they had a thing called the Little Sandy Singers, and I joined and we sung at the college over there at Gearhart Auditorium, and I've been doing it ever since. This is the first time I've ever done this, and I've you know I'm a senior this year, so I mean it's just great. The experience is great, the people are great. They'll help you in any way. It's just awesome. Wanting you to have a healthier life means providing access to quality, affordable health care. And to do exactly that, Hope Family Medical Center offers full dental care with Dr. Pratt and his team, a pediatrician team of three doctors and nurses and moms, complete health care by family physician Dr. Kelly Pratt and nurse practitioners Mildred Sizemore, Gail Faria, Shannon Conley, and Heather Blair behavioral health services with Kimberly Davis with in-house lab testing and results in-house x-ray and pharmacy and all the caring knowledge and experience that these medical professionals represent at Hope Family Medical Center Parkway Pharmacy now open earlier from 8 a.m. until 6 in the evening to better suit your schedule and lifestyle and to help you get better and live a healthier life. And if allergies are bogging you down, they're armed with the very best and over-the-counter relief for adults and your children. Reach owner pharmacist Jesse Rudd and his assistant pharmacist Megan Castle and their staff at 8 o'clock in the mornings or at 349-4400. A tire more than 25% low, about 8 pounds, makes you 3 times more likely and worn out tires 11 times more likely to be in a tire related crash. Don't take your or their safety for granted. Come in for a free inspection, 6 months no interest financing, the best price and best selection at Conley Tire in Staffordsville. Stop by the seasonal shop for the two biggest events of the season and find all the help, gifts and decor you need with baby and wedding registry something extra special for the new arrival or that little one turning one or more, and wedding registry, ideas, and planning for everything from the ceremony to gifts to the home. And the seasonal shop also has thoughtful ways to honor memories of loved ones lost with personal and gravesite decorations that they'll gladly deliver to our local funeral homes. Find something to cherish all your memories at Fraser's Prater Drugs Seasonal Shop in downtown Sagersville. We are all human. Because we're not perfect, we tend to make mistakes. Unfortunately, some mistakes are severe and carry more consequences than others. If you have been hurt in a car wreck, a truck wreck, or because of someone's mistake, reckless or careless behavior, you deserve help with your medical expenses, lost wages, and serious permanent pain and injuries that you have been made to suffer and will continue to suffer for the rest of your life. If you have been injured, I can help. I'm attorney Don Wayne McFarland, Call me and let me go to work for you. 349-9000. Another bear sighting to pass along to you. A viewer sharing these photographs of another bear on another road in McGoffin County to add to what has been the busiest year of such sightings, perhaps, well, definitely in the history of the show and as far as I can tell, ever. Now, while I could go back and pull up the video that another uh, local person shared with us of several weeks ago about a bear they saw I was it around the 
it was on Route 7. I can't remember exactly where it was, but it wasn't exactly this far south on Route 7. We could try to determine it's the exact same barrier, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. But you can see this one making its way on 7. This is just near the John T. Arnott school site, what used to be the school, uh, closer, I believe, according to Brooklyn Bailey, who took these pictures and video, uh, closer to where John T. Arnott's house once sat. But here you go. Good look at a good bear in slow-mo uh, in front of their car. And this is a common sight. We've seen them in traffic and in front of vehicles darting up the hillside. Special thanks to Brooklyn Bailey for allowing me to share this. Uh, and just another bear in one of many that we have seen uh, this spring and summer. Might not be the last either. So this is going to be the last time I'm going to see you before the big event on Monday. So I wanted to pass along a couple of quick tips tonight to all those specifically who may already have glasses, but like so many others are afraid to use them because there's just been a big scare, a big liability as well, uh, and a big number of these glasses which have just been fake to say the very least. So producers have been trying to get supplies out, but other folks have been just basically printing fake labels claiming uh, their glasses had these proper ISO certified rating, uh, even providing fake test results online. And because of that, a lot of folks are trying to make sure that you have the information you need to know if your glasses are safe. And there are a lot of sources out there to find out what you need to know about the glasses that you may already have. One place to start is by going to the American Astronomical Society's website at aas.org. They've got a list of manufacturers of reputable vendors on this list. And the organization has gone through and double-checked all of their verifications, all their paperwork to make sure that their glasses are actually ISO certified. Now keep in mind, there are companies out there who are making knockoffs, replicas of those companies, so you still need to be vigilant. If you're uncertain about the glasses origin or if their vendor is not on the list, well, there are a few simple things you can do to make sure that they're safe. One is they are extremely dark. Put them on in your house and if you can see anything, I mean anything, they're not safe. You shouldn't be able to see the person standing next to you in a lit room. Safe solar filters produce a view of the sun that is comfortably bright like the full moon in focus and surrounded by black sky. If you glance at the sun through your solar filter or your glasses and it's uncomfortable, out of focus, or surrounded by a haze, it's not any good and it's not safe and you shouldn't look at the sun with it any longer. All you should be able to see through them is really the sun itself in a comfortable manner. Or another good test if you can find an unfrosted incandescent light bulb, an old-fashioned light bulb that doesn't have the white coating or paint. You should be able to see the filament but barely, and that is all. Or you can use a multiple white LED flashlight or the arc of a welder's torch and barely be able to see any of those. And as for welding glasses, well, that's going to be a common use, but there are some recommendations as well. Some welding filters are safe to use. Those that have a grade or a shade of 12, 13, or 14. However, most welding glasses are lighter than that and the sun can even be too bright for a shade 12. Ideally, you want a 13, and a 14 is often too dark to have a good experience and see what you're hoping to see. And if you've got a pair of the glasses that work, but they've got some bends or folds, tears or cracks, they're no good. And that's a big problem because a lot of companies have shipped these in nothing more than a paper envelope with little padding and a no box. So even though they might still block the sun, be sure not to use them if they're damaged whatsoever. The only difference in these washers and mowers from new is the incredible low price. And the same goes for tools, electronics, jewelry, games, and more at Parkway Gun and Pond where they buy and sell gold and silver and loan cash every day on just about anything worth a dollar. Stop by on Parkway Drive or call 349-PAWN.
August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. The 64-gig Galaxy S8, normally $149.99, now $74.99. This is all. The GS8 Plus, normally $249.99, now $124.99. Corchan. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models, all 50% off. Get it. 50% off all smartphones while supplies last. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. Here's a new list of specials at Gateway. This Chevy Intervan runs great, cold AC, $49.90. This 2015 Commander 500 Camel ATV just traded for 72 miles. As new, saved thousands. And a pair of RAV4s. This 2010 all-wheel drive, excellent price and payment. And this 05 RAV4 all-wheel drive, $5,900 or best offer. This 06 Crew Cab is a 4x4 and thousands below book at just 10.9, and most payments under $200 a month at Gateway Motors in Sagersville. Hi, I'm Attorney Jeff Lovely. At my law office, we're determined to offer you and your family outstanding, cost effective, and responsive legal services. I can help you if you've been injured in a car wreck. I'll be in your corner if you have a DUI or other criminal charges. To file bankruptcy and stop those harassing phone calls, or I'll fight for you and your children in divorce and custody cases. For all your legal services, contact me when it matters. In Sirensville at 349-4522 and West Liberty at 743-1965. All right, we're going to close this shop up tonight with your Licking Valley RACC forecast and maybe a couple of other tidbits of information before I leave you. As for tonight, a beautiful evening in the neighborhood. Cold front's on its way out. We've got fewer clouds. We've got drier air, 66 degrees, mostly clear skies. It's football night tonight. Hope to see you in the stands. Northwest wind, 5 miles per hour, so becoming calm. For your Saturday, here's where we're looking at. We are looking at sunny and dry, and that's it. And clear, beautiful. 86 tomorrow, 62 Hope to see you at Community Day. We've got mostly clear skies tonight, a little f tomorrow night, a little fog late tomorrow night that will linger on into your Sunday morning. Another beautiful dry day in the neighborhood at 87 and 62. Sunny, mostly clear on your Sunday. And, of course, Monday, another all-important weather forecast. A little patchy fog in the morning, but right now, uh, very favorable. Nothing more than very few clouds above. And, actually, I don't see many clouds working their way in until that evening. I'm thinking it's going to be just a sunny day. Uh, and very few clouds and very few obstacles as far as watching the eclipse, which will, once again, remember, start around 103, 105, peak around 235, and be over around 355. With that said, we'll see 89 degrees. It's going to be hot, but it's going to be clear and sunny. More sunshine on your Tuesday, but it will start to wane thereafter. We're talking about 87 and mostly sunny on your Tuesday, but a 20% chance of showers in the morning, a better chance that evening, and a likelihood midweek as another front comes in and knocks temperatures down about 10 degrees or so from Monday to Wednesday with temperatures right around the 80-degree mark for next Wednesday. By Thursday of next week and Friday of next week, get this, 78, 76 degrees. And a couple of very important announcements before we shut it down for this evening and for the weekend. Come and join us tonight for Hornet football. They're kicking off at 7.30 in their season and home opener. And be sure and join us at least at some point, if not throughout the entire day, for Community Day tomorrow in the Ramey Park. It starts at 10 in the morning, goes to 10 tomorrow night. That $10 ticket gets you into all the entertainment, gets you a chance to win a car, and, of course, kids and 12 and under get in for free. It's a great deal. And it's a great chance to have a whole lot of fun, all the food, fun, games, and prizes, and a beautiful day weather-wise for such an event. Hope to see you then. Hope to see you back here Monday post-Eclipse 2017. So for now, thank you for watching, and have a good night, and an even better weekend.